Derby on Empire Day. And as if to celebrate the happy union of two great events, a day to dream about. A day to make California, Florida and all the other sunspots green with envy. The boiling sun shines down on as mighty a crowd as ever and all the fun of the fair. If John loses his shirt this year, he should be pleased. He'll be a lot more comfortable. And in honor of the tropic weather, Epsom becomes a rival to Ascot. This year, there's a special new prize for the winner, a 300-guinea gold cup with a silver salver for the jockey. Maybe their majesties, the king and queen, are listening on their far journey, but the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and the Duke and Duchess of Kent are here as usual. For the three minutes of flashing hooves, it is a magnet to prince and beggar alike. Blue Peter has three men to guard him to show what a very important horse he is. With 27 names on the card, it's the third largest field in Derby history. And now the hush falls across Epsom. And they're away! Into the lead at the start goes Fair Chance and Casanova, with the rest in a bunch up the hill. And now Pathé Gazette presents a magnificent follow shot from the high tower, a far better view than anyone on the course. In the lead at this stage is Heliopolis, with large field close behind. So watch those leaders, a picture that conveys all the tremendous thrill of the greatest horse race in the world. the big bend to Tattenham Corner. Are you still watching those leaders? Because if you are, you'll see Larchfield take the lead from Heliopolis. There they go. Around Tattenham Corner, Larchfield is in front and now comes the tremendous thrill as Blue Peter steals the race. Blue Peter is on this side, nearest the camera, and Blue Peter goes to the front. After that, it's all Blue Peter. And do I have to tell you that he's going like sizzling lightning? So it's Blue Peter, Fox Cub, and Heliopolis. The gypsies say that when the flowers bloom on the gypsy boy's grave at the crossroads, a new market horse wins the derby. And it's true.